it was clear like broth earlier today, Kim, but Pat, you're saying that now it's getting more like pea soup. Yeah, if you want to use the uh, the cooking analogy, I, like I guess that, that works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually it was sunny and gorgeous in places like, well, like Ramona, where we have our time-lapse camera up on top today, and you can see it was uh, beautiful up there, but looking to the west, you can see all the clouds and the fog that hug the coast. Ramona was 71 today, but by the time this week is over on Friday, I'm forecasting 50 degrees for the high for Ramona. I'll tell you why here. First of all, west of the mountains right now, we're in the 50s everywhere. We're watching some uh, some fog that's likely to form here overnight and last into tomorrow morning. We've got a dense fog advisory. The reason is we have a very shallow marine layer. We've got uh, a counterclockwise rotation around this low to the south of us. That's coming in above an inversion and just holding those clouds very close to the surface. Meanwhile, we're watching a big swirl of a cold winter storm up here off the Pacific Northwest. This is going to move our way this week. It's going to bring us some very cold weather. It's going to bring us some rain, some mountain snow, maybe uh, six to 10 inches above 4,000 feet. We desperately need this rain. This is a good thing and it should arrive Thursday night into Friday and you can see that reflected in the temperatures. Look how they drop off going into Friday at the coast. We'll be uh, at 56 for the high on Friday after 60 for the high for the next three days and in in the inland valleys, it's uh, well, it's an even bigger drop all the way down to 53 on Friday before we slowly start to recover. So taking a look at our seven day, you can see it here too. The clouds will start to gather even more as that storm system gets closer and closer. We're going to have fog in the morning tomorrow that could uh, interfere with your commute fog in the morning on Wednesday morning as well. Our conditions really are going to be deteriorating this week in the inland valleys. We're also going to see a whole lot more cloudiness after tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll see some sun in the afternoon, but then you can see how we'll, we'll be topping out in the mid 50s by Saturday and some of that rain may linger into Saturday along with some thunderstorm activity too. That always happens when you get that real cold air coming in, clashing with the warmer air mm -hmm. and uh, some big gusty winds in our mountains as that front approaches. So big storm coming and we're always trying to get to normal. So this rain will really help, right? Yeah, a little bit. It will. Yes, yeah, good. we need we'll it. it. Mm -hmm.